we're doing something new today. If you enjoy it, shoot that like button. A no time to die location, Hammersmith Bridge. I'm not an architect, nor am I an engineer, but this is a cool looking bridge. Down there is the rowing club. The members from the rowing club were hired to row up and down the Thames to be shot in the scene behind M and Bond during No Time to Die. From the pictures of Daniel and the cast and crew, it looks like these local businesses were all used as production bases, hair and makeup, etc. The main location was the Rutland Arms, which I went into for a bit of food afterwards. And that's why I'm here, to see the location and explore the area. The world through Bond. I tried to visit Bond locations on my travels and it's never led me wrong yet. Obviously, get the pic too, that's important. Thanks to the person with the cockapoo who took the picture. Appreciate it. When I'm out and about, I try to learn a little bit about these places and their history. The building of the bridge first started here in 1827, when the people of Hammersmith didn't want to go to Putney or Kew Bridge just across the Thames. The bridge became so useful, the owners were concerned it couldn't sustain the weight of traffic across the daily. This led to the Met Board of Works, taking over the bridge after a boat collided with the bridge in 1882. That was only the start of its troubles though. A temporary structure was put up and plans begun on the bridge we now see before us today. This version of the bridge was opened by the Prince of Wales at the time, just like the suit style Bond wears here at the bridge scene in No Time To Die. Wrought iron supporting structure, 700 feet long, 43 wide and 82k to build that's 9.2 million today and i don't know about my viewers but these old styles really appeal to me versus modern architecture apparently the ira didn't like this bridge in 1939 they first tried to blow up the bridge but a passerby noticed one of the bombs and threw it into the river the explosion was huge but the second bomb went off causing damage to the bridge in 1996 the provisional ira tried to blow up the bridge again the device didn't detonate in 2000 the real ira's bomb damaged the bridge which led to its repair over two years and reopening with weight restrictions as you can see they're doing building right now with all this bomb talk i'm sort of thinking why the hell am i still on this bridge And this was Hammersmith Bridge, a Bond location. We don't know exactly what will happen, but it does look like a classic spy movie scene. As you can see, I wrapped up this video just in time. Classic British weather. Oh yeah, nearly forgot one thing. Thanks for watching. Big thanks to Enzo for letting me use his interpretation of the Bond music. This was a new venture for the channel, but it's something I really wanted to do and thought you guys would be very, very interested. Please comment below what do you think. Shoot that like button and subscribe for a Bond video every week.